What's going on? Today we're going to learn Sweater Weather by The Neighborhood. This one's really easy, so it's a great beginner song. If you're just starting out, it shouldn't take you too long to learn at all. Make sure to check out my free top 10 tips to mastering the guitar training by clicking in the link in the description below. And if you're brand new to guitar, make sure to check out my free beginner crash course by clicking right here. With that being said, let's get into this video. Okay, so this is going to be the part played for the verses. Starting with your capo on your third fret and starting on a C chord. That's our strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And we're just going to switch that on a bunch of different chords. So starting on your C, then we're going to go to A minor, then to E minor, then back to A minor. We're only going to play it for half a bar before switching and ending off on G for half a bar. So you'll see that when I play it through, it's going to sound like this. So you could hear there that at the end of that, I'm switching from the A minor to the G, and those are just half a bar each. So just down, down, up, down, down, up. Besides that, all of them are played for one full bar. And there you go, there's the entire verse. All right, so then moving into the next part, which is the pre-chorus, this one's gonna be really easy to learn because it's almost exactly the same as the verse. So you can hear it's almost identical. This time we're going from C to A minor to E minor, and then instead of our A minor to G switch, we're just gonna do a G. So it's the verse, but even easier. And that's all there is to it. Should be a piece of cake once you've learned the verse. All right, then moving into the chorus. We've got three choruses in the song and they're all slightly different, but shouldn't be too hard to get down. So we're gonna use the exact same chord progression as our pre-chorus for all three choruses. So starting with our first chorus, all we're doing is single strums held up for four beats. So super simple, super easy. C, A minor, E minor, G. That's all there is to it. So then moving into the second chorus, it's the same thing. You're just playing it four times in a row instead of once. So nothing new here. Hold out for four before switching chords. Should be nice and easy. Just follow along with the song. Then moving into our third and final chorus. Now we're going to have a different strumming pattern on again the same four chords. This time our strumming pattern is gonna be So that's down, 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 up, down, up. 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 And then you're doing that on each chord, switching after playing each once. Oh. 
Okay, so now moving into the fourth and final part of this song, The Bridge. So you can hear there right away I'm playing different chords and we've got the swing rhythm added in. So down, down, up, down, up. So you can hear that swing rhythm there. It's not quite a straight tempo, da 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 da. Just listen and follow along and get the feel for it because the swing rhythm is a slightly offbeat tempo. And you're just going to play that on each chord so you can really get the feel for it. It changes up from basically our straight. If you can hear the slight subtle difference there. And then, if you can't, don't worry. Just listen to what I'm playing and follow along with it. So here we're going to switch between an A minor, a G, and a D played for two bars. So, nice and slowly together. So that one's pretty straightforward too. You just got that slightly different rhythm and the slightly different chords. But with that, you can play this part and that's the whole song there. There you go. If you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. See, that one was pretty easy, right? Please hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my newest uploads.